On today's video, I am going to show you all how to change an issue type. Let's say, for example, I have a tax and I want to change my tax to a story. Welcome back to Aisha Scrum. I'm very happy to have you join my platform. So let's get into the video. So sometimes at work, you will create a tax and prior to maybe backlog refinements or even sprint planning and through conversation with your team and then your team will be like, oh, that tax is actually too big for it to be a tax. I think that should be a story. Uh, and that can happen to vice versa, whereby you write a, a story and you'll be like, oh my God, this story is so big. There's no way this can be done in a sprint. This basically is an epic. Then you'll be like, okay, I want to, let's just turn this story to an epic. You can do it either or. But then some of like, okay, do I have to start all over again? No, you basically can just change the issue type and adjust the details afterward. So to change the issue type, uh, basically, let's say, for example, I want to change the issue type for this uh, EIS-19. EIS-19 currently is a tax. If I hover over the icon, uh, it should say tax. I know too because I know the color. So that's the tax. And when I click on click on the tax and the EIS-19, it opens up at the side. And I click on EIS-19 one more time and open it fully. And as soon as I open it fully, then I can show you how you can make that change. By the way, if you've been finding my content valuable, like and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email us at admin at aishascrumtech.com. All right. Now that this page on uh, these tags have fully loaded and open, um, now we're gonna go to the icon, which is here for my page on Jira here, is the three dots on this side. Where I know at work, uh, when I have to make those changes, I've always have it around here, the drop down arrow. And that drop down arrow, we now say, I go on that more and I make the change. But for my demo Jira, uh, that's under these three dots. I click on the three dots, and the option shows up here uh, as move. So then I click on move and this loads up. And currently this is the current state of this story, uh, stacks, tax, uh, that. So from in, under this project uh, tax, so if I wanna change it, I just click on the drop down arrow on that, that. So now I can change this tax icon to, to basically a story because I want it now to be a story. If I want it to be a sub -task, I can do that. If I want it to be an epic, I can move with all of this different issue type. So let's say I want to turn this tax to a story because this tax is basically too big. So then I click on story, then I hit next. And then it's telling me uh, update field for story issue in this project. It's telling me now, okay, now I basically want to do this uh, change. Uh, is that what I want to do? If I want, I can send email updates. I don't want any email. So I just hit next again. And now for me now to confirm that I'm basically changing this issue type from a tax right here to a story. Target project is going to be the same and target issue. So it's going to be from a tax to story, then I hit confirm. So it's going to load and do the migration and make that change. And as soon as that's done, we let me show you. It's going to show us at the end. At the, uh, so that's actually the already done. Well, that's just a simple way to basically uh, change an issue type from a, from a tax to a story, and we can do the same technique if you want to change that story to an epic or vice versa. You want to like, uh, if the epic you realize it's too small, that can be a story, you want to make that change. You can 100% also do that and make that change. And then after that, then the story will automatically be created. And if that's created, um, then you see it, it changes. So now my EIS 19 is now the story. You see, so you went from being a tax to now it's a story. So the same thing you can do too if you have a, a basically a tax or not on its story. So let's say now you also have a subtax, right? Uh, that you have a subtax that you basically you think was small and that's part of a tax, but you realize that oh no, this subtax is actually big. This should be a story on its own and not be mixed with a particular story. And with that, you also will click on the the subtax you want. In this case, I have to open the story so I can get the subtax. 
So this is the two subtasks I have under the story. So let's say I want to uh, click on this AIS story, which is basically the subtasks and uh, learn about content creation. Uh, I click on that subtask, then it loads up. Then I come back to that drop down arrow right here. But in my case, it's three dots. Click on that three dots and I go under move. And the same technique also all over again. Then I have to now change this subtask to a story. So automatically, if I want to change it to a story, um, it disappears about me linking it to another session. Let's say I want to leave this to another subtax. So if I want to change from a subtax to subtax, then I have to choose the print issue because you know you always subtax with the link to a story. You hardly ever see subtax on its own. So then it's even giving me the option that if I want to change the story. But in this case, I don't want to change subtax to subtax or even subtax to a different issue story. I just want to change the subtax to a particular turn it to a higher level. So now I'm gonna turn the subtax to a story itself on its own. Then I hit next column. And then the same thing, the same steps, and I hit next. Then it's asking me to confirm if I wanna change the subtax to a story. And if that's what I wanna do, that's yes, then I hit confirm. And then it's going to load up and do the migration and change that subtax to now be a, a tax, I mean, a story on its own. So now I'm going to acknowledge the change. And ta -da! now we have our story. So it's going to be loading. So now, so now we have our story. So now it's learning about content creation. It went from it being a subtax to now being a story. So if you've been finding my content valuable, like and subscribe to my channel. I really will appreciate it. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email admin at aishascontech.com. Thank you all for watching and see you again in my next video.